Hello, everyone. Welcome to this live. I haven't been on this space in a while. Um, I think we're just going to wait for a few other people to join, including my co-host, Ibukun. Um, but thanks so much for joining, everyone. Uh, another live from Whitman Walker Health. We're going to be talking about our mobile health initiatives today. Um, here, the other person. She's logging on real quick. Hey, you welcome. Hello. How are you doing? Hi. How are you? I'm good. It's good to be back in the space. It's been a yeah. minute. <clears throat> How's your day been? It has been really nice. I've been working from home. Um, most of my roommates are back home for Thanksgiving, so I have the whole house to myself, which is super nice. So. Mm, yeah, that is nice. How's your day going? Oh, it's been good. You know, working from home as well. Um, I'm in Michigan, so it's oh, been nice. Goodness. Yeah. Um, Holidays. That's so lovely. Yes. But super excited to be here today. Can you hear me all right? I just want to make sure. I can be great. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Um, are you ready to start? Ready when you are. All right. Well, hello, everyone. My name is Ibuku, and um, I use she, her pronouns, and I am the social media outreach coordinator um, at Women Walker. And I'm here with Brendan. And Brendan, you can introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Brendan. I use <clears throat> pronouns. Um, I am the community partner outreach specialist at Whitman Walker Health. And we're we'll going to be talking a lot about my job today because I work with the Global Health Initiative. Yes, exactly. So today we're going to be talking a lot about MHI and just getting more information about it. So during the past few months, um, the Community Health Department has expanded its outreach efforts to the social media platform. So you've seen us come on this platform and talk about things like HIV, STI, sexual health practices. We've talked about access to care. We've talked about social determinants of health. Um, we've talked about just general public health interventions. Um, and we also have a series of um, outreach sessions that focus on the COVID-19 pandemic and just ways to, um, you know, just ways we can support the community and educate the community about the pandemic. Um, but like I like Brendan said, we're going to talk about MHI today and just get more information about it. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, um, we're going to be talking about mobile health initiative. Um, and, you know, I think Ibuku is going to be asking me a lot of questions, so uh, you'll know how to access our services. Yeah. And also, um, if you have any questions throughout the live, just make sure to put them in the chat below and we can um, answer the questions in real time. So um, we can go ahead and get started. So my first question for you, Brendan, is what is the Mobile Health Initiative? So I, I'm sure you know, and I hope our viewers know that Within Walker offers a lot of different services. Um, we have clinics in Northwest DC and in Southeast DC. Um, you know, there we do HIV testing, primary care, legal services, behavioral health services, you name it. Um, but getting into the clinic can actually pose a barrier for a lot of people who might want to seek our support, um, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, where I think a lot of people are trying to stay at home. Um, so that's why we created the Mobile Health Initiative. Uh, we call it MHI for short, Mobile Health Initiative. Um, MHI is a mobile clinic, uh, mobile meaning that we travel all throughout DC. So we go to various locations from primarily wards five through eight. Um, and the mission is really to expand access to healthcare uh, for people in those wards uh, because you know coming into the clinic might pose a challenge. So we're gonna go out to you. Yeah, um, that's a really amazing idea. And um, I know you had mentioned that Women Walker does offer a lot of services and at our, you know, the Northwest um, location as well as the Southeast, Southeast location. So what kinds of services are offered through MHI specifically? Yeah, um, we provide a wide range of services um, to people who are age 16 and older. Um, first off, we offer free 
anti-HIV testing. So that's like that rapid finger prick test if you've gotten it before. Um, it gives you your results for HIV in just one minute. Um, it has very, very high accuracy. Um, and then we also do uh, free confidential STI testing um, through like a self-test. And I'm not sure if anyone who's watching has done this before, but uh, basically that just is like a blood draw to test for syphilis, uh, as well as a urine sample and then swabs, um, oral and rectal to test for gonorrhea and chlamydia. Um, that's like the bread and butter. And then if someone tells us that they've been exposed to HIV within 72 hours, um, which is like three days or so, um, we can connect them to post-exposure prophylaxis or PEP um, to make sure that they are uh, preventing uh, themselves from getting HIV from that exposure. And um, someone says that they're interested in prevention of HIV through medication before they've been exposed. We can connect them to PrEP resources, pre-exposure prophylaxis. Um, and like, basically if anyone comes up to us in an MHI event and they say they're interested in something, that what Milwaukee does, we can connect them to that. So um, if you want to get a COVID vaccine, like I can make you an appointment for that. If we're close enough, I can bring you right to the medical center. Like we try to make it as accessible as possible. You just tell us what you want and like we're going out to get it for you. Wow. Okay. That's really incredible. So just to reiterate, you can get the HIV, you can get a free HIV STI test and counseling. You can also, um, you get access to PEP and PrEP. And pretty much you guys can connect um, the, our clients to any other Whitman Walker services, correct? Yeah. I mean, again, our goal is pretty much just to lower barriers to healthcare wherever we can and make it as easy as possible for people in D.C., particularly in like wards five through eight uh, medically underserved communities to access our resources. So that's why that's why we're offering so much. Yeah. And quick question. Do you accept walk-ins? Yeah, um, I think that we get that question a lot um, in the clinic. You definitely like, I mean, when we're setting up in the community, like if you see us out there, we pretty much rely on walk-ins. Okay. Um, when we're at our clinic, like if you're coming on to the medical center, I think we're trying to limit traffic and, and uh, during the COVID era, like really make sure we know who's on site. We have a limited number of people. So we, we appreciate you making an appointment on site, um, but yeah, definitely. If you see us out in the community doing mobile health stuff, like come right on down to us. We'd be happy to help you out right then and there. Okay. Um, and do our clients have to worry about insurance for any of the MHI services? Not really. So, I mean, like the stuff that we're doing right on site, HIV and STI testing, it's all free. So do not worry about insurance there. Um, if you're interested in other services like PAP, PrEP, primary medical care, um, we can talk about insurance. For some specific programs like PrEP and PEP, there are a lot of great patient assistance programs where you won't actually have to use insurance if you don't have it or if you're underinsured. Um, and then if you have any questions regarding like primary care, behavioral health services, all that, like we'll, we'll use your insurance. But if you have any questions, we have a whole insurance navigation team you can talk to. So like don't let insurance be a barrier to getting any of these resources. Okay, awesome. Another question, so how long will it take for my HIV STI testing results to come back through MHI? The finger prick HIV test I was talking about is rapid, and rapid means 60 seconds. So you will get your HIV results like right then and there. Um, okay. Other tests that we do, so the chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis test, they have to get sent off to a lab. Um, so it okay. takes a little while for those to get processed. Uh, we say results within seven days, most yeah. times people they get it more like three or four. Um, but I, I usually say like three to seven days. So it takes a little bit for the results to come back. Okay, awesome. So it's really cool to hear about all these services. How can I find MHI? How do I know where you guys will be located? Yeah, um, so we go all different organizations, locations throughout DC all the time. So uh, just be on the lookout, uh, you know, for different community organizations and events, wards five through eight. Uh, I mean, we're trying to get involved as possible. So if you know of an organization or of an event that's happening um, in DC and you think that we could partner with them, that you wanna see us doing outreach, vaccines, HIV, STI testing, all that stuff, just please let us know. Like we, we love going to different places. Um, we were at some events this weekend in Anacostia. I think uh, next week we're going over to uh, Noma area. I mean, we try to go everywhere possible. Uh, 
So you can just DM us right here on Instagram if, if that's easy for you. If you're watching this, um, you can give us a call at the number pinned below. Uh, you can send us an email. We have phone numbers on our website. Like, please just get in touch with us however possible. Um, and if you don't want to wait to access our services, just because like mobile <coughs> health, you, you kind of have to wait for us to do an event. If you want to come to our clinic, that's easier for you. Um, we offer free HIV and STI testing Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at both of our locations. So at our Liz, uh, our 1525 location, which is on 14th Street, and then our Max Robinson Center, which is in Anacostia. And I think there's a number pinned in the chat below, if I'm not mistaken, um, where you can call. Yes, I'm going to put the number right now in the chat um, for calling to make an appointment for HIV STI test. Um, like Brendan said, we have two different locations. Um, I believe you have to pin it since it's um, like on Whitman Walker's Instagram. So um, for some reason, I, I'm oh. getting a message on Instagram that says we're trying out a live and have turned off a few features. So I do not have a chat. Oh no, okay. Well, I just put the um, number in the chat for anyone watching and we can also put it in the description box when it's posted. Um, so that when it's posted, people can see it. Um, but thank you so much for sharing all this great information, Brendan. Um, this was really informative and I don't think we have any questions right now. Um, so we can just like check later after it's posted, see if anyone has any questions. Um, but before we leave, I do want to mention a few things about the COVID-19 pandemic and the vaccine. So Whitman Walker does offer the COVID-19 vaccine. So if you have not been vaccinated and you are looking for an appointment, um, we do want to say that we do offer it and you can call us at 202, um, to, yeah, seriously, 202-207-480 to make an appointment. Um, and, you know, we have appointments available at both of our locations. So just call us to make an appointment. If you live in the D.C. area and you would like more information about the COVID-19 vaccine walk-up locations and eligibility, um, you can call 1-855-363-0333. If you live in Maryland and you would like information about the COVID-19 vaccine, um, you can call 855-634-6829. And if you live in Virginia and you would like more information about the COVID-19 vaccine, you can call 877-829-4682. And if you haven't been vaccinated and you are not looking for an appointment, we still highly recommend following the CDC guidelines, such as, you know, wearing your mask, quarantining, social distancing, and everything else. Um, it's very important for you to discuss the COVID precautionary measures, especially with those living around you, um, because... You don't know everyone's vaccination status. And I think having a conversation about what safety precautions you're going to take will help protect you as well as the individuals around you. And once again, you can also call us if you would like to discuss more about the COVID-19 vaccine and just, you know, get more information about it. Um, and if you have been vaccinated, um, we want to say thank you and congrats. Um, you've taken a really important step to preventing yourself and your loved ones and your community from illness. Um, but we still recommend, you know, following safety guidelines, such as wearing your mask, quarantining if needed, um, and just, you know, keeping alert um, because, you know, the vaccine isn't 100% effective, especially with the various variants going around. Um, and finally, before we leave, I do want to, you know, just plug us and say you should follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, at Whitman Walker. Um, as well as checking out our website. Um, Brendan mentioned a lot of services that we do offer and our website is a really great way to um, gain access to that or just to see all the services we have. So if you like the most up-to-date information, please check out our website. It's on www.whitman-walker.org or you can call us at 202-797-4439 for any questions. But I just want to say and once again for coming in today um, and really teaching us a lot about MHI and I love the what M MHI stands for and the impact you guys have in the community. So thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Great to be here. I miss doing live, so so thanks for um, having me. Of course. Okay. Have a oh yeah, have a great Thanksgiving. Yes. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.